بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. If he puts on the hoofs at Fajr, can he wipe over them until the following Fajr? Answer. Praise be to Allah. Firstly, the Sahih Sunnah indicates that for one who is not traveling, the periods during which he may wipe over the hoofs is one day and one night. And for the one who is traveling, it is three days and three nights. Muslim narrated that Ali ibn Abi Talib, may Allah be pleased with him, was asked about that and he said, The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam set a limit of three days and nights for the traveler and one day and night for one who is not traveling. At Tirmidhi, Abu Dawood and Ibn Majah narrated from Khuzayma ibn Thabit, may Allah be pleased with him, from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that he was asked about wiping over the hoofs and he said, For one who is traveling, three days and for one who is not traveling, one day. Classed as Sahih, by Al-Albani in Sahih Al-Tirmidhi. Secondly, the scholarly view that it is most likely, the scholarly view that is most likely to be correct is that the time for wiping over the hoofs begins from the first time one wipes over them after invalidating wudu, not from the time when one puts them on. So if someone does wudu for Fajr prayer and puts on his hoofs, then he invalidates his wudu at 9 o'clock in the morning and does not do wudu then he does wudu at 12 o'clock. Then the time for wiping over the hoofs begins at 12 o'clock and lasts for one day and one night, i.e. 24 hours. And Nawawi, may Allah have mercy on him, said Al-Awza'i and Abu Thawr said, The time for wiping over the hoofs begins from the first time one wipes over them after invalidating wudu. This was narrated from Ahmed and Dawood and it is the favoured view and the strongest in terms of evidence. This view was favored by Ibn al-Munzir and something similar was narrated from Umar ibn al-Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him, al-Majmu'ah. This view was also favored by Shaykh ibn, ibn Uthaymeen, may Allah have mercy on him, who said, that is because the hadiths speak of the non-traveler and the traveler wiping over their hoofs, and it cannot be said that someone wipes over them unless he actually does that, and this is the correct view, al-Sharh al-Mumti'ah, and Allah knows best.